Hey, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a science lesson. About two weeks ago, I helped my buddy Steven install some under cabinet lighting, and it turned out really well, as you can see here. But as we were filming the final scenes of the video, we noticed that there were black bars being picked up on the camera. And when we dimmed the lights, there was a lot of flickering on the camera. So in today's science lesson, let's get to the bottom of it. Today we have a really interesting question on It's Just Science. Why did the camera pick up a flicker when we dim the LED lights? To start to answer the question, we gotta define what frequency is. Frequency is the amount of cycles per second. And alternating current works in this way. If one hertz, which is the unit for frequency, is equal to one cycle per second, it would look like this. Off, max brightness, off, max brightness, and then off again. And it does this cycle, this one full cycle, 60 times per second. So we actually see max brightness is about 120 times per second. Our eyes can pick up a maximum of 80 hertz. So in the US, we use alternating current at 60 hertz. You're getting 120 maximums per second. So our eyes don't pick up a flicker. In the case of a camera though, it works differently. Let me show you. I shot this video in 24 frames per second. 24 still pictures are taken per second with my camera. So here's an example, me and Steven in the kitchen. This is one frame of 24 frames in one second. Keep that in mind for the next whiteboard. In order for the camera to capture that frame, it opens and closes a shutter, which is like blinking your eyes. And the shutter speed is how long the shutters open before it closes again to capture that one frame. So what I've done here is just kind of shown you the perspective of how long the shutters open. This would be considered a long exposure, one over 30. That means that in that one frame, in this case, I'm shooting in 24 frames per second, so it's 1 24th of a second that this entire bar is occurring in. The green part represents how long the shutter is open. And this is for like really low light. And if you keep the shutter open for just a little bit longer, it'll capture enough light to create an image. It's sometimes blurry because this is open so long, which doesn't seem that long, but it's open so long that movement can occur and create blurriness in that fraction of a 1 24th of a second. <laughs> so just to reiterate, this is when the shutter is open and this is when it's closed, all for just one frame. And this happens 24 times per second. If you're working with a lot of light, your shutter's gonna be open for even less time. The shutter has to open for such a small fraction of a second to get a really clear picture. The transformer we're using is a constant voltage driver, which means that through the LED loop, it's 12 volts at all times. If we look at our physics equation, power equals current times voltage, the voltage is constant. So in order to decrease the power or dim the lights, the current has to decrease. In order to bring down the current, the LED driver or the transformer uses something called a pulse width modulation or PWM. What that means is the driver controls the amount of time the circuit's on and off to regulate the amount of current. For example, if Steven's under cabinet lights are on all the way and not dimmed at all, then it doesn't pulse at all. But if Steven decides to dim his lights down to about 50%, what the driver does is it starts to pulse the amount of current that goes through the circuit and it's on for half the time and off for half the time. On, off, on, off, on, off. And then even lower, if he dims it and the lights are on about 25%, and so it's 75% dimmed, then the lights are only on for 25% per cycle and they're off for 75% of the cycle. And it does this cycle about 100 to 300 times per second. So to our eyes, we don't pick up the flicker, but to a camera, it's a different story. Remember back to the shutter speed part where we said that if there's a lot of light, the shutter's open for a very, very small amount of time. So in that one frame of 24 frames per second, the shutter's open for a minuscule amount of time and it captures the image in that little instant. So in the conclusion, this pulse is occurring faster than we can pick up with our eyes. But a camera is capturing still frames and it happens to be capturing still frames when the light is turned off. So there's your answer of why it flickers. It's the on and off pulses of the dimmed LEDs. 